Hey guys, it's Mouth here once again, and today I wanted to have my own little bit of a rant and talk about Bestiary League, or Bestiary League, and that is um, because I did want to give this league uh, a bit of a shot before I said anything, as people have asked me lots, um, what's it like, do you like it, is it good, and I've said I think it's okay to begin with, and there's a bit of fun involved, but we'll have to wait and see uh, a bit further down the track to see if it's truly worth, and at this point my character's level 90 low 90s and I've put a good uh, like 40 hours into him getting to the end game maps grinding through maps and I just do not understand the purpose of this uh, league mod really because I just don't get where it fits in what it's supposed to do or how it's really supposed to be impacting the game similar to what previous uh, league mods did so I like many other people don't really feel the impact of the mod itself too much while mapping uh, going throughout the game I will come across a beast every now and again uh, usually one shot it because it's really weak it's the yellow tier beast and they're usually just not really too worth capturing anyway but you capture a bunch of those regardless and you can do some shitty uh, crafts and uh, recipes and then eventually every few maps you come across a red beast and if RNG or luck is on your side you get to craft one decent little item or one fun sort of recipe and usually get nothing out of it so it is still pretty worthless. It currently has some cool mechanics and some monsters and boss fights and all that but it feels like a slightly worse version than a bunch of other different leagues. So namely we're talking Essence League where you could actually do some decent target crafting because this is kind of advertised as a crafting league where Essence is just so much better in everything it accomplishes as a crafting mechanism because uh, you can target craft properly, you get so many more crafts, you can trade things to then get the crafts you desire, and overall Essence just ended up working much better as a crafting system. Uh, the actual encounters themselves are somewhat far and few in between, and I just felt much more challenged and engaged, uh, engaged rather with Abyssal monsters and Abyssal cracks, even though those did get a bit annoying after a while. You also still had a few um, additional uh, liches, and then likewise with Harbinger, you got a fairly decent balance of reward uh, versus your risk. You know, the Harbinger mobs and encounters were a little bit tough at times. After tweaking, that is, it did become a little bit tough. There was a, a decent amount of spawns, and you did get a fair amount of loot in the end as well. Whereas currently with this one, I just do not get very much loot. I do not get to encounter very many fights, and I do not really get to engage with the League mod terribly much. And it feels almost like I'm playing standard. The coolest part about the League is then fighting these end game uh, aspect type bosses. And it's just an RNG fiesta where you randomly catch some red tier monster and all of a sudden, hey, you can open a portal to them. And I happen to, in my past 40 hours, find one of those. And then the worst part about it is I have tried to craft a bunch of stuff. And you can see the result with items like this, where it's supposed to give me additional... Uh, one guaranteed mod, but then it gives you a completely random item which you have no control over Which ultimately is just about worse than an alchemy orb and feels almost completely worthless in even trying Now I don't want to entirely shit on the league as much as humanly possible uh, a lot of people have experienced expressed a lot of concerns about it being boring, terrible, and quitting immediately. I'm not quite like that. I do think there is still some engagement there, some potential there, and it is clear that they've worked quite hard or done a lot to um, create this league. It just doesn't feel anywhere near as impactful as previous leagues. I'm talking like the past five or so, because you either get a huge change to your league in the form of a lot of extra monsters and encounters to do, or a vast amount of additional loot and... Um, sort of currency and crafting methods and all of that so that you can then um, really have an impact on your overall league experience compared to a standard whereas this one doesn't really hit either of those check boxes i don't feel like i encounter monsters that much and i don't feel like i craft that much whereas it definitely is possibly there so currently i think what it really needs is um maybe a lot more cooler uh, crafts and uh, available recipes and probably a shitload more of the legendary monsters some less requirement on a bunch of different other monsters some better guaranteed props so instead of just uh, crafting for example like I want to craft swords quite often and I'm going for rare 
one-handed swords with attack speed. It just gives me a random sword with a random amount of attack speed. So I can get a 5% attack speed uh, gemstone like you saw pretty similarly uh, earlier on. And that just doesn't make any sense. Like if you could at least put some item that you want in there to craft and then uh, create that with uh, let's say 20 to 25 percent roll of attack speed that feels like you're actually getting somewhere and that's basically what the essence system was anyway except just um, a lot easier to manage so I really don't understand why it feels kind of like they're scared to give us too much of a good thing in almost all of these scenarios because there's not that many beasts and the crafts themselves aren't that exciting and there's a lot of RNG layered on top of those to even potentially maybe get a chance of a decent item. Because as it stands currently by far the most profitable and worthwhile doing um, crafts are the un various unique ones, uh, create a unique item, re-roll a unique item, all of that because the uniques are fairly set in what they do. You can pick between armor piece, you know, which is just about anything, an amulet for example, belts, you know what we can do with those. You can actually kind of target what you're doing and ultimately if you get a little bit lucky you can get one of the really good items out there that do currently exist but it definitely still feels a bit clunky because for me to create a unique flask I just have to run around and hopefully run into a um, legendary or double modded Farrick Taurus which I currently have seen one of throughout the entire game and I run just about every map possible multiple times I don't try and stick to one type of map or anything and I've tried to capture just about everything I can and I just don't feel any sense of uh, control over what I'm doing or any real progress I'm making towards any of these craftings I just sometimes find a beast capture everything I can and sometimes it's a good beast and sometimes I can maybe apply it towards uh, one of these shitty crafts. So it doesn't really feel too satisfying in that regard. I feel like there needs to be a lot more legendary beasts which ups the encounter rate uh, of the league mechanic throughout the um, maps you're doing. So two, three roughly guaranteed per map. I mean is that really so bad to have two or three of these tough encounters per map where it actually will really feel like you're facing uh, your league encounters quite often and then on top of that the actual aspect encounters you just sometimes come across one of these beasts that could uh, have the recipe to open the portal and then finally you can open the portal and get in there and try it out for the first time and that feels pretty bad too. I've only come across the spider so far uh, I think that's uh, Fenimus over here, Fenimus' lair, just found this random spider, it was, you know, the legendary one and I caught it and then I can go into his lair for the first time. And that's it, that's all there was to it, coin flip, found it, go do it, wasn't too hard but it was uh, still pretty, a bit of a challenge compared to most things and it did have quite a lot of damage to hit me with. So I feel the framework behind uh, the league and the mechanic is actually there and you can definitely make something good out of it. I think it is up to GGG to really step in and start uh, upping some of the rates and tweaking some of the consistencies of the league to actually make it a playable one because I do not foresee many people engaging with this or sticking around for this league if it remains the way it is and uh, in the past they have helped and uh, buffed and adjusted certain league mods and it has helped the league out vastly and uh, made it a lot more enjoyable. See Harbinger for example and as well as that in the past they have taken too long to step in for certain mechanics and it's just been a shitty league overall and I'm talking something like Torment where just ghosts were non-existent, they weren't very good, uh, they would run away, you just couldn't really engage with the mechanic whatsoever and then by the end of the league they had it all figured out as to how to make it better, implement it into the normal game and it was better than what the actual league itself uh, offered for the league mechanic of Torment and it's just what, some, what needed to happen throughout the entire league to begin with. So I think it is very salvageable, it is still fine. I personally don't really mind trapping uh, beasts at this stage except for some of the yellow ones. Uh, I definitely obliterate way too quickly and my build isn't anything too crazy. I do have you know some decent gear like 280 foil and we're talking a four link on my reeve because area doesn't really count. I can definitely understand how some people struggle to catch with various uh, mechanics and various builds and all of that but I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. If there's a lot more monsters, if the red ones especially are the ones the focus on, you're rarely if ever obliterating the um, red rare legendary beasts instantly so you should be able to catch them. 
without too many problems. I think it can still be a good league and can still be impactful. But right now, as it stands after a week, I just do not feel like it's going to um, shape my gameplay too much if I don't want it to, especially. You can completely ignore it. You really don't get too much out of it, even if you try. And ultimately, I think it needs a bit of help. So all I'll say is my uh, finishing piece for this little spiel is don't quit just yet. Hold out a bit of hope. I do think they're still going to be actively looking at our comments and threads and all of that and constantly trying to improve it because it is a fairly uh, out there uh, league and mechanic and all that. And they do want it to be a success and they do want to please us because ultimately... If we're pissed off, if we don't like playing the game, that's not good for anyone. It's not good for us, not good for them. So they do want us to enjoy the game at the end of the day. And uh, I do think there's potential for it to not totally suck in the end. Uh, for now, though, I do think the current league still has plenty to offer in the way of new ascendancies, a few new items, and uh, another end game challenge. So I'm still very much hooked on actually playing. It's just the league mod itself, I don't think, um, has really ticked all the boxes just yet. So that's my part. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video and the rant. Feel free to have some discussion. I will probably join in throughout some of the YouTube comments. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.